Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Sophie and this is my channel, Soph X Reviews. If you like my videos, don't forget to smash that like button and give me a subscribe. There's also a teeny weeny little subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of all my videos now. So if you want to subscribe to me at any point during the video, you can do just by clicking that button. And also don't forget, you can always come and chat with me in the comment section. You know, let me know what products you want to see reviewed next. Let me know what your thoughts are let me know what you've been up to during quarantine if you're in lockdown you know just basically come and comment anything um, and come and have a chat with me i'll always be around to come and comment back as always i'll link my socials in the description below so you can go and follow me on any of those if you want to today's video i'm bringing you part two of testing cheap face masks from beauty bay so the first one wasn't very successful so we're going to see if this is more successful see what i think of the products as always and let you know my thoughts if you didn't catch the first video then i'll link that up here for you right now so you can go and click on that pause this video and go and watch that one first if you want to um, and then come back and watch this one so if you're at home right now and you're sick of watching tv then stick around for video number three the first mask I'm going to try today, I must say, is a bit of a regretful purchase. I'm kind of dreading putting this on my face now. Um, I don't know why I even know why I thought it was a good idea at the time, to be fair. But, um... But yeah, so the first mask is this uh, fermented snail eye mask. Yeah, you heard that right, fermented snail, which apparently is supposed to have so many good skin benefits um, and all that. It retails on Beauty Bay for £4. And on Beauty Bay, it says a nourishing eye mask spe specially designed for the delicate under eye area. The timeless ferment snail eye mask offers visible skin enhancing and anti-aging benefits. The innovative hydrogel mask contains gold fermented snail extract. Gold fermented snail. Can you get gold snails? I'm a bit confused by that one, to be fair. But yeah, contains gold fermented snail extract to rehydrate, soften and brighten the skin. Gold fermented snail extract packed with skin beneficial ingredients such as alanatoin, glycolic acid, collagen and elastin to calm, brighten and plump the skin. So apparently it's supposed to be really good for your skin um, and really good for like the delicate eye, under eye area. So I'm going to give it a go. Let's get this bad boy open. This is the first one. I'm just going to... Oh, pop it under the eye like so. I've got both masks on now. They do feel like really slippy, to be fair. Like, they do feel like they're gonna fall off my face any second now. To be fair, like I said, I don't even know if I've got them on the right way. I don't feel like I've got them on the right way. I don't know if to like change them around. <laughs> like, it don't actually say which way to put them on. Um, but. To be fair, this was the best way to pull them on without them like actually like sliding off my face. If anyone's an eye mask expert out there, then let me know in the comments which way I should actually have it on. Because I'm pretty sure like the last mask I did, um, I'll pull them on the other way. But see, look, it's just sliding down my eye. Like, it may as well be a cheap mask at this point. So I'm going to try and put them on the other way because I don't think this is the right way. I think that looks better. I think that's actually how they're supposed to go on, um, not the other way around. I am still sliding off my face though. I think you're probably meant to like lie back with them on or something. Um, they don't really feel that cold. Probably should have popped them in the fridge. I mean, I did buy them a while ago, so I probably should have popped them in the fridge or something if, you know, for like a more cooling effect. But, but yeah. That's the eye mask, so I'm going to leave these on for 20 minutes um, and see the under of my, well, if they stop falling down. So this is the second mask I'm going to try and I'm dreading it because the first, if you watch the first video, then 
you'll see the lip mask was a massive fail. Don't really believe in lip masks. Don't really know what they're for. Don't think they do much, but we're going to give another one a go. We're not going to shoot it down straight away. I'm going to give this one a go and we're going to see if it's any good. So this is the OK Cherry Lip Mask. Um, this is the same brand that I had the um, Leopard Print Cheat Mask on in my first video. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, I'm having a bit of a snail problem. Right, let's let's get these bad boys back up. Oh yeah, this is the OK Cherry Lip Mask. It's £3 on Beauty Bay. It's actually currently out of stock at the moment. Um, the description says, a nourishing lip mask, treating and protecting OK Cherry Lip Mask is a single-use lip patch formulated with cherry extract used before makeup application or as a part of your skincare regime to moisturise, cool and deeply hydrate. OK, so it's supposed to like really nourish your lips and get that moisture in there. So anyway, let's try and get into this lip mask before these, eye, before these snail eye masks completely fall off my face. And yet again, I can't actually talk with this lip mask on my lips. There's no hole for you to breathe yet again. So maybe that's just what lip masks are supposed to be. I don't know. So I'm going to put my head back for around 15 minutes and I'm going to try both of these out and then come back with my thoughts, basically. <sighs> I ain't holding much hope for them, though. I think they're just going to be just as rubbish as the last lot, but we'll see. So I'll see you in around 15 minutes, guys. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, if that, and I'm back. And to be honest, I give up with both of them. <laughs> like, completely give up with both of them. The eye mask was just the same material as the lip mask and the same lip mask I tried before. To be honest, absolutely useless. It just slides off your face a million times. Doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Isn't really even giving me, like, any hydration whatsoever. You know, like I said last time, there's just hardly any product on it. And what can I even say about the dreaded lip mask? You know what, I don't even think I'm going to waste my money anymore and buy any more lip masks. I think it's just a gimmick that someone must have made up somewhere and thought, oh, this is a good idea, let's make a lip mask, which doesn't stay on, just completely slides off, you can't breathe, and it does absolutely nothing. So, if you're into lip masks, guys, that's your kind of thing, then fair enough. I don't really know what you get out of it, but from my point of view... Don't waste your bloody money. I'm absolutely crap. If I ever find a lip mask that actually works and I actually feel is doing something to my lips, I will promote it from here to the hills because, like, I just, I just don't get it. Like, I just don't get the purpose of a lip mask. It does nothing. Like, I was sat there lying back for what? 10 15 minutes do you know what i mean and it did nothing and i could have just popped some lips on and i like my lips would have felt a lot more smoother I, I just i just really do not see the appeal like at all so the face mask i'm going to be trying is the yes to tomatoes detoxifying and hydrating white charcoal paper mask this is $2.95 on Beauty Bay. The description says a white charcoal paper mask formulated with white charcoal. I didn't even know you could get white charcoal. To be honest, like, is that a thing? Do you dye it? Like, I don't know. Anyway, formulated with white charcoal to gently draw out pore clogging dirt, oil and impurities. The white charcoal paper mask is the ultimate masking experience to help detoxify and hydrate dry and sensitive. Soft 100% cotton mask smooths to the contours of the face allowing for a deep full face treatment in just 10 minutes it's vegan it's cruelty free paraben free silicone free 97 percent natural ingredients so a lot of good stuff in this sounds great sounds like exactly what i need i need some hydration right now i need something to help with my dry skin um especially like in this hot weather directions say gently unfold mask and apply adjust around eyes nose and mouth smoothing to fit the curves of your face well, i've got a lot of them allow to work for 10 minutes tingling is to be expected but remove if it feels too tingly Oh, okay. Well, it says it's for sensitive skin anyway, so it can't be that bad. I have tried masks that do tingle a bit before, um, but to be fair, sometimes that just means it's working. Okay, so we've got to this point, and I ain't gonna lie, it's a little bit fiddly. <laughs> Don't know what I look like right now. Oh my god. Right, but 
as like a separate mouthpiece that you put up here. It's supposed to go to like the contour of your face, but I mean, if anything, it just feels like really fiddly. And I will say there is a bit of a smell to it. It smells a bit, um, it smells quite floral actually. Like it smells like a little bit of like, like a floral like perfume or, or something, but it's definitely got that kind of floral smell to it. Um, yeah, it's really fiddly to put on. It definitely is not the easiest. It definitely is not the easiest fake mask I've ever put on in my life. And this is an awful job. I have no idea what I've done, but it looks I literally, oh my God, I look like flipping jigsaw. I'm in a bit, but only like on my lips, like where the mask keeps falling down onto my lip. Like it's making my, um, lips tingle a little bit so i'm going to keep this on for 10 minutes anyway i've probably been talking for five but yeah i'm going to keep this on for 10 minutes anyway come back take it off which i'm really looking forward to so i've gone from looking like a ninja turtle in my first video to jigsaw in this one um but yeah i'll leave it on for 10 minutes and i'll uh see you guys in a bit okay guys i'm back so it's been about 10 minutes so i'm just gonna take this face mask off so there it is I'm so glad that's off to be honest. Okay, so the mask definitely did tingle a little bit, but it was nothing like that my skin couldn't handle. Um, it was only like quite slightly, like a slight tingle. Um, so that didn't really bother me. And to be fair, like the longer you leave it on, the better it feels like, and the more the tingling stops. My lips are still tingling. Like, I don't know why it's like affecting my lips. Like, um, so as regards to the face mask, um, I do feel like it puts some hydration into my skin. I don't really get like the tingling. I don't really know like why it tingles. Um, but like I say, it wore nothing that my skin couldn't handle or anything. So that was kind of fine. And it did, the, like the longer you left it on, it, like it did feel more refreshing rather than tingly. Um, it is a really fiddly mask to put on though. Um, there's these flappy things for your eyes, there's the big long flappy thing for your nose. The mouth thing was like way down. Um, apparently it was, it's supposed to be like that so you can like contour it to your face almost. But like that is not the case. Like it's so difficult to put on. Um, and obviously like when you first get face masks like that, the packet them like drenched with the product. So you don't want to be like fiddling around with it too much. You know, you just want to like, pop it on and get on with it really um but yeah it was really like weird and difficult to kind of put on my face the face mask that i tried before um was much easier to put on so, i mean i'll probably give this face mask like a four or five out of ten i don't think it was that great i don't really think it did much for my skin um if anything my skin feels a bit like sticky and like a little bit dry like I don't actually know, but I don't actually think it's really done that much for my skin. Um, and like I say, my like, top lip is like really tingling. I don't know whether that's the lip mask or whether that's the face mask. Um, I'm assuming it's the face mask because it said about the tingling. Um, but yeah, that's a bit weird. I don't really know what's going on there. So yeah, that's the face mask. I mean, it was all right, to be honest. Would I buy it again? Probably not, to be fair. The eye mask and the lip mask definitely not so it's been a bit of a fail again today guys really with the mask situation but you know what can you do that's the whole point of reviewing things i suppose so you can find good things and you can find bad things and you can test which products you like and which products you don't so that is it for today's video guys um i do actually have some really cool stuff coming up to review very soon so stick around for that i hope you're all staying safe um and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys